Hi folks, Wooden Boat Dan here. It's May 29th, 2023, actually Memorial Day. Thought I'd do a short video about filling the weave on epoxy, uh, on fiberglass cloth with epoxy. So on my peeler skiff, I've got it turned upside down right now, which you might already know. And I started by basically putting a piece of glass on each of the one, two, three, four surfaces and overlapping them in the middle. And then I filled that with fiberglass cloth and I had some issues with contamination there when I went to apply subsequent coats of epoxy. Anyway, I got that uh, cleaned up and fixed, it applied more epoxy, sanded it all down. And then I installed two skids so I'll show you here, these, uh, these wooden skids here are uh, three quarters of an inch by an inch or so here. And uh, by the way, the black here is actually JB weld, <laughs> which worked pretty good. I had some spots where I had bubbles, so I cut it open, took the cloth out, uh, the loose cloth and filled it with JB weld. And with the uh, fast setting stuff, I was able to sand it in about 10 minutes uh, smooth with 220 and then keep doing my epoxy work. Whereas if I had mixed up epoxy with thickener, it would have been harder to sand and it would have taken, I don't know, six or eight hours or 10 hours to cure. Anyway, so I installed the skids and then over the skids, I put fiberglass cloth with three layers of epoxy uh, on that to fill it. And then the last thing I just did a few days ago was put two layers of fiberglass overlapping on the very bottom of the boat only. So I did that and I have three coats of epoxy on that cloth now. And the thing is, in some places I'm seeing either the an imprint of the fiberglass cloth or the actual fiberglass cloth is not filled with epoxy. So I'm gonna actually show you here, hopefully you can see in a picture and a video what I'm talking about. Let me take you to a spot here. So let's see here. Okay, so for instance, along this edge, you can see the texture here of the fiberglass. But over here, well, actually here you see the texture too, but over here it's glossy and full. So see the difference between here, right there, this area, and over here, it's pretty glossy. You don't really see the fiberglass cloth. So I'm assuming the cloth is not full here, I don't know that for sure. It could just be an imprint of the fiberglass cloth that I'm seeing through the epoxy. But even though usually in the past I've been able to get epoxy gloss uh, glass to fill with three coats, uh, I, I'm sorry, let me back up. I've been able to get the fiberglass cloth to fill with three coats of epoxy to a nice glossy surface that I can see on the 220 and I'm done. So, but I'm not happy with what I've got here right now. I don't really want to take a chance of sanding into the fiberglass cloth. So I'm going to try something different. I'm going to uh, mix up some epoxy and I'm going to put a little bit of micro light fairing filler in it. I'm going to show you what that is here. This is West Systems brand. There's other brands out there. Uh, it says here, thickening additive blends easily with West Systems credit. Easily, extremely light, carved and sanded fairing compound. So in theory, what this is gonna do, it's gonna, it's a little bit thicker than what I put on, so it should fill any uh, imprints a little better and it'll be a little easier to sand than just straight epoxy. And it will change the color of the, where I put this stuff down, it's gonna have a light tan color, 
so I won't see all the gloss coming through, which might make it easier to kind of discern what's going on. Uh, so I'm gonna go mix up 10 ounces of epoxy now. I'm gonna take a time-lapse video. And once I get that done, I'm gonna come back and uh, give you a follow-up video to see how we did. All right, sounds good. We'll see you shortly, thanks. Okay, folks, Wooden Boat Dan here. I just finished putting uh, 10 ounces of epoxy on the boat, and I mixed in two heaping teaspoons with 10 ounces of epoxy of the Microlite Serum Filler. So far, I'm liking what I see. Obviously, I won't know for sure till it's dry, but I have a fairly uniform look and I'm not really seeing any place where it's apparent the cloth is showing through. So here you can see, you can see the edge of the cloth here where, the, where they overlap, but that's not the fabric. So anyway, it's, re it's really hard to see in these videos, but uh, like I say, I'm seeing a pretty uniform look so far, uh, so I rolled the epoxy and then I did tip it off with this. So this is a foam roller cut in thirds with a little stick. This is a Russell Brown trick. This works great, a lot better than a foam brush and it's probably cheaper too. So you can just cut these and dispose of them when you're done. So I did tip it off with that, which will help give it a smoother surface. Anyway, uh, once this baby dries, I will give you another update. Okay, thanks. Okay, folks, it's been about 24 hours since I put that last coat of epoxy on that I thickened with the micro light, whatever that stuff called, I can never remember. Micro, I think it's micro light fairing, let's see. Micro light fairing filler, yeah. So if you recall, I did 10 ounces of epoxy and I'm actually using system three silver tip. And I put two heaping teaspoons of microlite with that. And it kind of made a kind of a thin gravy consistency. And one thing I'd recommend with the microlite is break it up it kind of gets into chunks, and when you put it into the epoxy that way, it's kind of hard to break it up. So I would break it up dry in the uh, box that it comes in, the can, and then add it to the epoxy. Anyway, uh, it's been 24 hours, let the epoxy dry, and I'm pretty happy with the results. I think it did what I wanted it to. It filled the weave. Uh, I didn't end up with any spots where I didn't feel like the weave was filled pretty well. Uh, it did leave kind of a texture on the boat, almost like a, a light texture on a house wall kind of thing. Uh, but it's sanding pretty well. So I, I started, I'll show you here in a second. Uh, I just started sanding to see what it would look like after I sanded it. Um, the other thing I, I thought of after I shot the last video was that because in some places I was doing two layers of fiberglass cloth in the same session, two layers of that cloth does soak up a lot of epoxy. And so that may be why I had to do four coats of epoxy rather than three, which is what I'm used to. Normally with one layer of fiberglass cloth, three coats is plenty. So anyway, let me show you the product here. So you can see there's a, there's kind of a nice little finish uh, texture on this and it's pretty consistent throughout. Um, yeah, I can look down the boat here and you can kind of see, you can see the lines of the, the fiberglass edges 
along here, which I'll sand most of those out. But seriously, folks, this is the bottom of the boat, right? So, and it's a 15 foot boat. So it's not, nobody's gonna be looking underneath a whole lot, but I am a little bit of a perfectionist. So I'll probably spend some time on those lines here and do that. And then I'll show you back here where I just started to sand. So back here, it's sanding it pretty nice. Uh, I'm using my little uh, DeWalt Orbital Sander and I just got this uh, battery powered version of it. And this five amp hour battery will probably run a good hour, uh, which is about all I can take for sanding. I started with 220 discs, but I went to 180 which is a better choice. And uh, anyway, so I'm getting this thing sanded up. Uh, so anyway, there you have it. I think using the uh, Microlite filler, fairing filler was a good choice. And uh, especially since I was having a hard time getting it filled up with uh, so many layers of epoxy on there. The other thing is it didn't, I thought it would turn it more of a tan color. It's just slightly tan, but not very much. But again, I didn't add a lot of the micro light. I think if you uh, add too much, then you have other problems possibly. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Wooden Boat Dan over and out. Keep the bright side up and the barnacled side down. Talk later. Bye-bye.